in this play, in this Leela of the Lord Himself, we forget what we are and we attach ourselves to that which is just passing. I was saying the other day that to attach to something which is changing, something which is not constant, and to be attached to it, to call it mine, to claim some ownership over it. It's like tying yourself to a crazy drunk donkey or something like that. Because you know it is going to go. Nothing phenomenal stays. Now you have attached yourself. That is Duncan Donkey. So you have attached yourself to this notion that I am this body. And if you consider yourself just to be a limited body, then obviously you will not feel like you have enough. You see? Because unlimitedness is your natural state. And somewhat, something keeps longing for that. And if you consider yourself to be a body, then you'll want what? Unlimited good relationships, unlimited amount of money. We want that unlimitedness in a mental sort of way. But what you're truly searching for is the truth about yourself. The unchanging, the unlimited nature of the self. Now, as long as you con continue to consider the notion I am something to be real, what are you filling this something with? I am the body, I am a person, I am the mind, I am a son, I am a father. Now tell me something that, what this something could be, which is the unchanging. What can you put into that box of I am something and that something should be unchanging. What could that something be? So either you leave it blank or whatever you might say, even if you say self, the absolute God, actually it doesn't need to be said because the I am itself contains it naturally. The truth is contained in I am. The false is added as a superimposition on top of that. As a belief on top of that. Now this I is the unchanging. That is why it is called the real. Nothing real can be threatened. So if you cannot be threatened, then what can? That which is going to go anyway, isn't it? So what is there to feel threatened about if nothing real can be threatened? And nothing unreal ever came into existence anyway. What does this mean? It doesn't mean that the appearance did not arise. But it arose as an appearance. What is the meaning of the term appearance? That which appears and disappears. So it is just an appearance. So the sages have made this distinction between reality and appearance on the basis of that which does not come and go and that versus that which comes and goes. Now we have tried attaching ourselves to that which comes and goes. Is it? And we all know how that has worked out. The good news is that you don't have to attach to the real. 
You just have to drop the falls. Find your reality which is beyond this body, beyond this mind, beyond this world, beyond this waking state, beyond all the realms that you experience. What is the unchanging? 